this evening we are going to uh, present uh, this book it's called Hugo Chavez presents Simon Bolivar the Bolivarian Revolution and it's edited by Matthew Brown and is going to be commented by uh, Tariq Kali. Why the book is so good? <laughs> um, the book is so good because it is always it's so necessary because it's the first time that Bolivar's words have been made available in English in an accessible and readable format um, for whatever, really. The existing English translations that many of you may have read date from the 50s, really, and are very... Are, I, there are two types of translations of Bolivar, either accurate and hard to understand, or easy to understand and inaccurate. Bolivar was, of course, the French Revolution. And I say this to, to show that even in that period, what was going on in different parts of the world had a big impact on uh, revolutionaries and radicals in South America. Uh, Bolivar's uh, teacher, Simon Rodriguez, was a votary of Holbach and Rousseau and all the Enlightenment philosophers, totally committed to the French Revolution. And that had a big impact on Bolivar, and then he came to Europe himself. And so it was these experiences that determined what he said and wrote. Once he decided that that was the only solution, it didn't happen immediately, there's a sort of process of thinking. But I think the success of the French Revolution, the American Revolution, led him, uh, as Hugo Chavez says in the introduction, when he was in Rome, he made a pledge that now we are going to be free, and that from now on I'm going to devote my life to the freedom of South America. And that's incredibly uh, inspirational and unique. Unique in the sense that no other nationalist political leader had an entire continent to organize. The first uh, British representative to Venezuela, Sir Robert Porter, he wrote in the diary, 1830s, that still in Caracas, uh, many white elite uh, Caracanians were afraid at night of slaves uprisings near Caracas. Because the majority of the center of Venezuela is operated by former slaves. But I'm telling you, is like Venezuela and the tropical regions of Spain in Latin America, where after the indigenous people were killed or wiped out, uh, were populated by former by slaves, African slaves. In Venezuela, the majority of the Barlovento area, which is the area near Caracas, were slaves, 80%. So that's a mixed society, but there are some pockets where white people were like, descended from Spaniards were majority, in other pockets where Africans were the majority. 